and welcome back to Plot of Pie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. It's Cookie Cod Napping Cutter, and welcome back. Your first place Plot of Pie are facing off against the Jacks. They're in second place in their division. Plot of Pie is sitting at 15 and 7. The Jacks at 13 and 9, trying to hunt down the Overdogs, who have a 15 and 8 record. So they're looking for a win here on the road. And Log Freely will face off against Stewie Tubrick who features a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a curve, and a changeup. And ball one outside, a 508 ERA on the year, 143 whip, and 13 strikeouts for Tubrick. And he'll get a strike on that one. One and one. Kaufman will field this one. Fire to first, and there is out number one for Jack Cracker now. 329 average on the year, three homers, and 13 knocked in. The first pitch to him. Hard hit to Kaufman, she'll field and fire to first, and there's quickly two outs in the inning for Huffley Buffler, the second baseman for the Jacks. And that's a ground ball, Cartman fields in the hold, fires, got him for out number three. So some good defense here in the top of the first inning, now time for the Platypie to hit, and here is Kitty Kaufman. As you saw, she's playing second today, once again, and uh... The key is to make sure she gets some hits in here because if she if she gets on base, the whole team feeds off of that. And now quickly two and one, and she's gonna swing through ball uh, ball three here two and two and two. Inside. That's inside three and two. The pitch, and that's ripped into left field, caught over there in left by Freely for out number one. And here's Hera O'Wugliams playing right field. And uh, Barry Ozone is the starting pitcher for the Jacks as he quickly goes 2-0 to Hera. He has a 292 ERA, 134 whip, and 15 Ks on the year. And he'll even it back up at 2-2. Two two. Back to back counts where he's done that. Now there's a weak little dribbler to Buffler who will charge a little bit and fire to first for out number two. Here's Beefcake McStevens. And uh, Ozone features a four seam fastball, two seam curve, and a screwball. Beefcake playing third again this week. And now one and one. Sky Rodriguez still coming in, uh, or still starting out on the bench. Back to back games. And now that's way inside, ball four. As you saw earlier, uh, Kerry Cartman playing short as Beefcake plays third. And now here's Muffin Sudwick playing in left field. And there's ball one on a uh, front door curve that couldn't quite catch the inside corner. Way outside, pitch out, but nothing doing for Beefcake over at first. A pickoff attempt now. And he's safe back at first. The 2-0 ripped into center field. Back goes the center fielder, Dazzler, and she will make the grab for out number three. So, despite the... Uh, two out walk, nothing doing for the uh, platypi, and now Juice Jackson will step in. And yeah, I was mentioning the defensive alignment a little bit before uh, uh, in the bottom half of the first, but we have Jude Harrell catching over at first is uh, is uh, Sandbrick at second base is Kitty Kaufman, shortstop Cartman, and now the one-two payoff pitch, grounded foul at third base, Beefcake again. Left field is Muffin. Center field, Wally Bacon back out there. Popped up into right field. Hera under it. And she'll make the grab for out number one. And as you just saw there, Hera Wugliams in right field. And yes, Willie Bacon is back in center field after missing a lot of time. Uh, just couldn't find it. Uh, and Linda Hand was, was uh, killing the ball on the offensive side. And so she got the nod, but... So been struggling lately, so Willie Bacon back out there. And now the payoff pitch to Razzie Dazzler, and that's ball two. The 2-2, two -two, payoff again. Low, ball three. The 3-2. Three Line, Sandbrick will make the grab for out number two. And here's Rob Glover with two outs, nobody on. He's playing shortstop for the Jacks, and he quickly goes 2-0. Strike one, 95 up and away. 96 up and away. 
And now the 2-2. Two, two. And he'll swing through that one. So three straight pitches in the same spot. And that's the first K. Three up, three down. Go the Jacks. And here comes Scooter Sandbrick to lead off the bottom half of the second inning. Those shadows might be a little tricky, especially as we get into the later parts of the game. But not tricky right now for Sandbrick as he'll line one up the middle for a base hit. Look to be a little bit of a submit mixer there. And now Willie Bacon will step in. 301 average on the year. A homer and nine RBIs. Potapai manager uh, said despite the fact that Sky and Linda are not starting, he loves uh, using them off the bench in huge situations. And now that's ball four because they're just really dynamic hitters on the uh, especially pinch hitting. I've had some really big at bats this year. Now here's Kerry Cartman. Strike one. The 0 1. Strike two quickly, 0 and 2. And now Carey is showing bunt, pulls back, ball one. With two strikes showing bunt. And now that's a weak little ground ball. Glover Fields fires to second, over to first, none time. So couldn't quite get the double play there, thankfully for the Plotify. And now Jude Harrell will step in. Batting eighth. Once again, he's catching today. And now he's going to hit one deep into center field. That's going to score a run. Sandbrick is going to come in, and there's not going to be a throw. It's 1-0 Potipai here in the second inning. And here's Stubby Tubrick, 333 average with four RBIs. And he's going to go first pitch hacking and ground it to Buffalo at second, who will throw it to downtown Upton at first base. Now here is Upton to lead off the top of the third after a one-run inning by the Platypi. And now, in the hole, Cartman grabs it, throws the first, got him for out number one. Here's Clutch Corman. After a great play by Carmen. exactly what the doctor ordered from Stubby. He'll be looking for a quick inning here. And now, Cartman, to his backhand, fires the first, got him for out number two. Two back-to-back -back great plays by the shortstop for the Platypie. And now you have Barry Ozone here. First pitch to him, up and in. 97 on that one. Outfield is going to play a little shallow now. And there's strike one. And now that's going to be hit past the diving. Cartman couldn't quite make three great plays in a row. And the pitcher is going to get the first hit of the ball game for the Jacks. And you know what he's saying right now. Oh, as that's a ground ball, a Wugliams fields and fires into third. To keep that runner, at, to keep Ozone at second, she's got a cannon out there. And now Jack Cracker is up. But you know what uh, Ozone's going to tell those hitters? It's not that difficult. And now that's a liner. Frozen rope. Willie tracking. He's going to dive but can't make the play. One run's going to score. They're going to wave another one. And Cartman's just going to relay it into third. And it's now 2-1 to one Jacks. Oh, my word. Not what you wanted to see. After getting the first two outs quickly, now Huffley Buffler will come into pit or it's come into hit. And he's just gonna pop one. Bacon says he's got it. And he does this time. And there's out number three. So after two runs from the Jacks, all uh, both coming with two outs, all hits coming with two outs. We're headed to the bottom half of the third, and now the Platypi are trailing. And Kitty looking to find a way on base. She'll take ball one inside. And now she's going to hammer one. It's going to split the alley in right. All the way to the wall. Dazzler will field and fire back in. Kitty's chugging for three. Glover's relay. Nine time. It's a putt up high triple from Kitty Kaufman. With nobody out. And here comes Harold Wugliams. The infield has come in. And now that's up the middle. Base hit. Hera does her job. It's a tie ball game here in the bottom of the third inning. Great one-two punch there. Exactly what the uh, Platypi fans want to see there. Tie ball game for Beefcake McStevens. Ball two. He got walked in his first at bat. And he's quickly up in the count 3-0. and And there's a strike. 
And that's outside ball four. So after the triple RBI single, a walk to Beefcake, we now have runners at first and second for Muffin Studwick. And he's going to rip a liner to left, but caught by Freely. Another hanger there. Muffin just missed an extra base hit. Now here's Scooter Sandbrick. And he'll take strike one. On the corner, strike two. And going to weakly hit this one to Buffler, who's just going to throw it to first for out number two. So the inning's still alive for Willie Bacon, who walked in his first at-bat. With two outs here, strike one. Ducks on the pond for Bacon. Just outside or low, even. Ball one, and there's ball two. Beefcake's got pretty good speed. And Hare is at third, so a probably two runs on a single. We'll see here. And then it's not going to matter. It splits the alley. Both runs are going to score. Checking for second is Beefcake and Hill, or sorry, Willie Bacon, and he will slide in there with a double. I think he was safe even with that muffed uh, scoop by the, by uh, Buffler. Now two outs, Kerry Cartman up, and that's out the middle, and that's going to get through. Base hit. They're going to send Bacon. The throw home is not going to... There's not going to be a though. They got Willie Bacon stuck in a rundown. Or, sorry, Willie Bacon scored. They have uh, Harrell stuck in a rundown, I believe. And he's going to eventually be tagged out. But not before another run comes in to score. It's now 5-2 to two plot of pie. Juice Jackson will step in. They picked up their pitcher, Stoopy. And we'll see if he can get some a quick inning here. And he'll start it off right with an out. One pitch, one out. Now here's Dazzler. Strike one to her. And she's going to rip one foul. A worm burner there. 0-2 oh, popped up straight back. Jude Harrell says he's got it. And he does. Out number two. Here is Rob Glover now. Batting sixth. And he will take strike one on a big hook to start off the count. Ball one. Now popped over the pot of pie dugout for strike number two. The one, two, and weakly popped. Can Cartman make the grab? He can! A diving play on his back, and the controller disconnects out of excitement, I guess. And a great play to end the inning. Muffin Sudwick, I don't think, had any chance to grab that one. And three up, three down. Jude Harrell, and my apologies. Um. It was not Jude Harrell who got thrown out. It was Kerry Cartman on that last one. Here is Jude Harrell, and he goes up 2-1, and 3-1. Nope. and one. The last one being the uh, the uh, rundown in the uh, bottom of the third inning. And now he'll take ball four just inside. Good eye there. And now here's Stubby Tubrick. And he's going to show bunt early and well inside ball one. Got to get it down. Jude Harrell, not the speediest of runners. And only one play there to first. And there's out number one. Got the bunt down. Catcher immediate for the uh, Jacks immediately fielded it. You thought there was a play at second, but the second baseman, Buffler, and the shortstop uh, were really late getting to the bag. So no chance to get two there. And now two and one to Kitty Coffin with an RBI chance. A triple in her last at-bat. Now that's lined and caught. Out number two. And Jude is going to be caught napping for out number three. Doubled up. And so nothing going in the run department in the uh, bottom half of the fourth inning for the Platypi. Now downtown Upton, the first baseman, will step up. He'll take strike one, strike two, both on backdoor hooks. And now that's uh, fouled straight back. The 0-2 again, back door to curve, but couldn't quite get it in there that time. And now caught him looking. He's an ice cube. Out number one on a, on a, just a fastball right on the black. And there's strike one. 
to clutch Corman, and he's going to hit one deep. Muffin going back, now going to come in a little bit, was midway through the uh, uh, warning track, and then came back to a step ahead of it to end the or to uh, make the grab for out number two. And now here's Barry Ozone, who wreaks some havoc in his last at bat by singling, but he's going to break his bat this time. And there's out number three. So, uh, Stuby wasn't going to let Barry beat him that time. We're headed to the bottom half of the fifth inning after a 1-2-3 inning. And Hera leads off, and she pops one into left center field. Under it is Dazzler, and she will make the grab for out number one. Here is Beefcake McStevens. Two walks, no official at bat today yet. Strike one there. And now that's ripped up the middle, but... Well, more at the shortstop Glover for out number two. Muffin Stud will step in. And he's going to get a hanger and line it back up the middle base hit. Lots of hangers today from uh, Ozone. And here's Scooter. And he'll take ball one high. Strike one. Runner going. Pitches outside. The throw is on the money for out number three. So nothing doing for the plot up high in the fifth. Stewie's going to head back out there to face Log Freely. And, and just over the leaping glove of Kitty. The fires into first as Owoglians, but not quite in time. Made it really close, though. Back to the top half of the uh, batting lineup. And a hit there. Now Jack Cracker up and he double play ball. Six, four, three to Sandbrick, and it's a double play. Huffley, Huffley Buffler will step in now after a gut wrenching double play, and but he'll line one into left for a base hit. Both runs for the Jacks have come with two outs, so gotta tread carefully here if you're Stubrick. There's strike one to Juice Jackson. Trying to saw him off, it looks like. And he can't quite do it. And that's going to be into uh, right field, oh, right center field. Willie Bacon will cut it off before it gets to the wall. And he'll hold the batter to just a single. And now Bruno Adamo will come in to pinch run for Juice Jackson. At first base, I believe. Held Juice did uh, Willie Bacon there to just a single. But now he split the gap. Probably a chance to score here with two outs. And instead he'll jam her. And McStevens will field it. Fire to first and the inning ends despite some two out magic for the Jacks. So nothing doing in the run department for them. And now here is Scooter Sandbrick to face off against Barry Ozone. And Glover is going to be at third. Adamo at shortstop. Ball one outside. Ball two inside. And now that's grounded to Buffler at second. He'll fire to first for out number one. Here's Willie Bacon, who's one for one with a double and a walk. But Elaine Munster is going to come in to pitch here. 286 ERA for 145 whip and 20 uh, strikeouts on the year. A two-seamer, four-seamer, and a curve. And she fires, fires the ball right over the top. It's one and one here to Willie Bacon, who's going to check his swing for ball two. A 2-1 two strike, two. Two and two. Upstairs. The 3-2 pitch from Munster is going to be outside. Ball four. Outside the zone, that is. It was actually inside. And now here's Kerry Cartman, who's one for two with an RBI single. And there's ball one low. Munster is a little walk prone. That's two and one. A ball two now. And now that's hit deep into center field. Dazzler under it will make the grab for out number two. So now with two outs, runner on first. And here is Jude Harrell, who has a walk and an RBI. And he's going to lay into one deep back. Back at the wall, high off the railing. 
He's going to slide in the second. Our run's going to score. It's now 6-2. Platypi and Stubby Tubert will bat in this inning. And that's up the middle off the glove of Munster. And a Buffler will field it and fire the first for out number three. Nearly a, uh, a two-out hit for the pitcher to help himself out another run. But instead, they'll settle for the one. Now 6-2 and Stubby at just 59 pitches with that last fire. He's going to stay in there. And now Kitty will field this one to her left. Fire to first for out number one. Downtown Upton is up. Really just the one blemish to uh, Stubby's line. Is that uh, third inning. And now this one's popped. Shallow right field, a Williams calling for it, and it carried out a little more to her, and she'll easily make the graph for out number two. Clutch Cartman, uh, sorry, Clutch Corman will step in here and take strike one. Now a weak little liner to short, and Cartman will take a step back and catch it for out number three. Three up, three down. Go the Jackson. Elaine Munster's out there again, and she'll fire ball one to Kitty Kaufman, who will take it. And then take strike one there. And now that's up the middle. And Adamo makes the grab. Fires the first in time for out number one. Here's Hera. She singled in Kitty to tie the ball game back at two. And the pot if I haven't looked back since. And now on the first pitch, she'll line one to Dazzler in center with some, uh, some major tail action on that one. Now that's foul. We've seen some wacky spin come off the bats of the platypi in this one. That, of course, that hero Wugliams with the uh, massive tailspin. Now here, three and two. Now to uh, to Beefcake, but also Muffin had one earlier with a lot of slice to it. Now that's that is going to be out number three on the ground, and now uh, Lane Monster will step in. And no, sorry, Batch Wilson's going to come in to pinch hit for her. And now grounder to McStevens. Throw to first in time for out number one. Log freely steps in a grounder. Sandbrick is going to field it. And Stu uh, Tubrick is going to uh, catch the toss over and step on the back for out number two. That one probably should have been fielded by Kaufman. But Sandberg step in front of it. Now Tubrick is going to make a catch on a comebacker. And now that's three up, three down. Quickly go down to the Jacks. And now Keisha Mushara is going to come into pitch. She has a 619 ERA on the year. A two whip and 11 strikeouts on the year. Features a four seamer, two seamer, and change. And she quickly falls down 2-0 to Muffin Studwick. Who's going to hit this one deep. But under it is Freely for out number one. Here's Scooter Sandbrick. And now he's going to dump one into left field. And oh, just couldn't quite uh, get that one to fall. Out number two. Here's Willie Bacon. He's going to line one into left field. That's down for a base hit. Into the corner it rolls. He's on his way to second. Bare hands it. It does Freely. Fires into third. And... Willie Bacon will cruise into second base with a two-out double. And that'll bring in Immaculo Spectacula with a 2.30 ERA, 106 whip, 21 Ks. Features a four-seamer, a slider, and a change, and he is a sidewinder. And now that's foul, 0-2. The 0-2 pitch, a weak little bloop into right field. That will get down, base hit. Willie is going to score without a throw. And now... Jude Harrell will step in. Another RBI for Cartman. Ball one inside. And on the on-deck circle is Tubrick. He's going to finish this thing out for sure. And now one and two to Jude. Runner going. And that's strike three. So a run will score with two outs. Now seven to two for the pot of pie. And Tubrick is going to go out there. This is just his 71st pitch. And it's going to be walloped deep. And you can kiss that one goodbye. Home run. 
for Buffler, his sixth homer of the year, 411, uh, 411 feet, and it was a no doubter. Now Tubrick still a four run lead. Just gotta think as the controller disconnects, they're not wanting Tubrick to get the complete game. Just gotta think, you're still up by four here. Uh, just go after him. That solo shot doesn't hurt you at all. But this will into right field. A Wugliams will fire into first to the covering two break, but it won't be in time. Now some a little more trouble, and Dazzler comes in to hit. Strike one to her. Let that one a little more over the plate than he would have liked, and into left field for another base hit. Now Rob Glover will come in. Tubrick's still out there. So now the 0-1 pitch to Glover. And now that's hit into center field. Willie Bacon tracking. He'll make the grab. Fires to third. The controller disconnects mid-play again. It's still struggling. And now it's going to reconnect. The throw is off the tar off, off target. And now they have runners at first and third. One out. Strike one. Strike two. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Pulls out the changeup, which he I don't think has fired once in this game. And pulls it out in a big moment there. Two outs now. 1-0 now to Clutch Corman, the catcher. For the Jacks. He's going to pop this one. Into left field. Muffin Studwick under it. And he will make the grab to end the ball game. It's curtains for the Jacks. The Platypi have come away with the win to go to 16-7. and seven. The Jacks will fall to 13-10. and 10. The box score, final box score for the Jacks. Three runs scored on nine hits, no errors. Platypi... Seven runs on nine hits and no errors. And the win goes to Stuby Tubrick, who went a full nine innings, gave up three earned runs, scattered nine hits, struck out three batters, and his record will go to three and two. And the, lo uh, the losing pitcher is Barry Ozone, going five and a third, scattering six hits, Allowing five earned runs, walking four batters, and couldn't strike out a single one. His record will fall to two and two. Now your Metalhead Software players of the game, Willie Bacon, who went two for two, a couple walks, a couple doubles, a couple RBIs, and three runs scored. Stuby Tubrick, once again with a complete game. And Huffley Buffler on the other side of things for the Jacks, two for four with a homer. And that has been Plot of Pie Baseball here on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below so we can keep on broadcasting Plot of Pie Baseball. Have an amazing day. See ya!